All right, hey, John Bartel out here at the Branch Center here in Sacramento. Today we're going to give you a few tips on getting some sandbags filled. Now, when you're working with sandbags, you shouldn't just fill them up willy-nilly here. Uh, there is a proper step, believe it or not. So when you're working, you actually should probably have two hands, but often you don't have some, a helping hand here. So the whole goal is, once you get it into the, to the bag here, you only want to fill this bag up to the fill line. That's usually about halfway. Not exact science here. It's about half. So normal people would usually just tie this thing up like this. Now that's fine if you're wanting to uh, get this to your house. But when you actually get to your home, if you come on over here, this is actually what you're going to want to do. Untie this bag and you're going to want to fold it over just at the top here. And you're going to want to make a layer right on the top. So if you take a look, we're, we're overlaying the bags one by one and you're going to want to lay them often just like bricks. If you take this next one here, you're going to want to put it right on the center of these lower bags. Fold it over right here. Let the bag's gravity push that down. Now, the reason you're actually untying these bags is this is what happens if you leave them tied up just like this. It's not as good to keep water. If I was to leave them tied up just like this, try to butt them up together, you got a nice little spot for that water to get through. So like I said here, when you get home, untie these things. Lay them just like bricks. All right, so if you layer these properly, that should help you keep some of that water from getting into your house or under your door. John Bartell, ABC 10 News.